Your Honor, this is her third DUI. One day after the funerals for an incoming UCF freshman and his dad killed in a crash, we're learning new details about the driver troopers say is responsible for their deaths. This is News 6 at 430. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Julie Broughton. News 6's Catherine Silver has been digging through court records detailing her past run-ins with the law. Catherine, what are you learning? Well, at the center of what we've been looking into is a case from 2019 where Leslie Garrett was arrested on felony charges. Court documents show she faced deportation following that arrest, but ultimately prosecutors decided not to pursue the case. We've looked through pages and pages of records that show how this could happen. Jacob Lloyd was ready for a fresh start, ready to move from Colorado to attend UCF this fall make new friends and major in forensic chemistry. A boy with a bright future before his family says it was ripped away. It's a pain that I never knew I could feel. The incoming freshman and his father were in town for orientation when Florida Highway Patrol says a drunk driver ran a red light and crashed into the pair near Lake Underhill and Rouse Road July 9th. Your name, ma'am? When Leslie Garrett faced a judge last week, it wasn't her first or even second DUI. Your Honor, this is her third DUI. And it's not her first arrest in Orange County either. In 2019, Garrett was booked on battery and child abuse charges, a case that brought up her status as a German immigrant legally in the U.S. on a green card. Documents show Garrett signed a plea deal in that case and was given a sentence of 64 days in jail and five years of probation. The next month, a new attorney on the case filed this motion to withdraw her plea. His argument included the fact that although her initial defense attorney explained the plea, she did not read the entire agreement to Garrett. She was told she would have zero chance of winning at trial and her only option would be to accept the plea. He also argued that this was the only statement made in court about deportation. A standard question from the judge asking, do you know if you are not a U.S. citizen, you will be deported? Garrett's reply, yes, your honor. Her attorney reasoned that she did not truly appreciate the consequences until after the fact. A judge agreed with the legal arguments, and at the end of 2020, prosecutors dropped their case, filing this document without explanation. The state attorney's office did send us records kept by the previous administration showing the victims wanted the case dismissed. By that time, Garrett had already served the time in jail from her initial sentence. There was never a jury trial, and Garrett was never detained by ICE or put in immigration court. Two years later, in 2022, she would be arrested for DUI, and then again this month when Lloyd and his father were killed. Their family left heartbroken and asking how could this happen. Too many people are dying because people are on their second, third, fourth strike. When is enough enough? Court records show Garrett signed another plea deal in February after her DUI arrest last year. And this time, the attorney made no mention of any immigration issues. We've asked local, state and federal agencies to share her current status, and they are either unaware or they have cited privacy concerns. But even with minimal repercussions from that 2019 case, Garrett did have other legal limitations after that DUI last year. And she should have never been behind the wheel this month because her license was suspended. Lisa. Thank you.